Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn. We are going to continue where we left off last time. That was here. Here is our lovely base. So we finally started collecting these ruins, getting scrap metal, using this shredder to turn it into metal pieces. And that's allowing us to build a new sort of industrial area. For these here, we got two engines and they'll be powering these. These are lumber mills and gear workshops because uh, we're sort of slacking on planks and gears. Then meanwhile, down here, we, we built a path and a load of steps. And we've started planning our mega dam and that should allow this whole area down here to be planted once the water level rises uh, very intrigued to see how that works I'm not gonna lie i also had an epiphany whilst reading a youtube comment that told me exactly what to do that maybe we should build like a dam here with an adjustable lock and therefore all of this will fill with water which means there's a lot more water stored here and then if we put an adjustable lock on it then we can slowly let water through throughout the dry season which could mean we can carry on pumping all the time uh, but if worse comes to worse i'm pretty sure we can just pump down here we'll never use up all the water down here but uh, yeah things are looking good the only other thing i need to be wary of our sort of aim of the game is to create this the six by one suspension bridge we need 3200 science now at the moment you can see we've got two unemployed beavers so i'm going to go ahead and build some more science centers is that what they're called science inventor huts Bung one there and one there. Nice. Two more inventor huts. So that should double our science output. Um, and I'm probably just going to try and squeeze in more. Because we got we got so many haulers. Like, why not just make them scientists? And right, also looking down here, we got four new births. And uh, thankfully, since last time, we've got a few new patrons. So Sevens, Dean Larson, Bebop Turtle, <laughs> and Duncan Brown. Uh, you've all picked a brilliant time to be born. Because things are actually looking up for a change. All right, so yes, meanwhile, I'm going to think about building more science. I might also, could also get these trees dug up. Oh, they're actually highlighted. We just need a lumberjack flag. Okay, we'll build a lumberjack flag. I think we'll plonk it in there. Oh my god, look at all these, look at all these little haulers. Look at them all, they're all grabbing scrap metal. Oh, nice, I'll tell you what, we do actually, where's our builders? We got four builders. Omkar, Mario, Ryan Reynolds, Dre the Smiter. They're all building. I think they're working on these engines at the moment. Yeah, we just, we need gears. So this will be the first one. one. Once that's complete, then hopefully some of these will get moving. And then we can make more gears. It's the circle of life. Because at the moment, our only gear workshop is this one. Which uh, Matt Nichols is furiously gearing away. All right, just notice as well, our forester thing. He can only plant trees down here. You can't actually guess up there. I've, can you see I've marked all of these to be cut? No, they're actually out of range. I'm going to have to build another forester hut as well. So if we put that there, then that should cover everything. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. So we've currently got maples marked out for there. I might do the same down here. We'll just maple it up. And as we seem to have quite a lot of trees growing down here, I'm thinking maybe we add another lumberjack flag. We've still got two unemployed beavers. Yeah, so what I might do, I might prioritize some of these ones that create jobs, like the inventor's hut. So I've put that on high priority over here. So now we should see some beavers come running over. Are you come, Are you going to come build? Duncan Brown? No, he's, he's buggering off. Okay. <laughs> Here we go, look. Who's this? Ryan Reynolds. He's 44 years old. But he is building and he's joined by Joe the Smiter, Omkar. 53 Omkar. That's pretty well going if you ask me. Yeah, it does make me a little bit concerned that we might see some deaths from old age soon. Like, nice, that's getting built. So I'm going to prioritize the next one because I think the sooner we can jump on the science the quicker we can build that bridge. I might even do a load of inventors huts down this edge. It does almost seem like the ideal spot. Sod it, there are only 12 logs. One there, one there. <laughs> yeah, we're going to town, we are going to town. I think all the essentials are sort of done now. Maybe water, we could do a bit better. But uh, I, think, I think it's time to expand. I feel like once this dam is done, and you can see they're building the dam, slowly get, once that's done, our sort of water situation will be absolutely fine. We can just fill this with pump. This can be like water storage potentially. Uh, have we marked these trees to be cut down? Yes, we have. I think there's just not a lumberjack flag in range. Are these in range? Ah, okay. So we're going to build another lumberjack. I might actually need to start creating some new people. People? Beavers? You know what I mean. And does our forester reach down there? No, of course he doesn't. Oh, look, a load of our beavers have grown up. Bebop Turtle, Dean Larson and Duncan. But they were only born a second ago. They're already ready for jobs. So for now, you'll be haulers. Oh, and it looks like our inventor's huts are up and running. So who's actually in there? Sam Foltz and Bebop Turtle. They are our new scientists. So looking very good. Oh, God. Uh, okay, this is not good. We've got, we've got a dry season incoming three days. I'm really not sure we have enough water. Can we... 
Can we prioritize the dam, maybe? Can we build this in three days? Sod it, let's prioritize. All right, we need everyone on the dam. I think this could save us, because there's a lot of water down here. I think about how deep that's going to be. And then along this edge, we can put water pumps. And I think that's like the key to long survival. Right, actually, water's pretty full up here. Maybe we need to start looking at some bigger storage. I feel like once this dam is done, down here, we're going to do like some water storage back there, some water pumps here. So maybe I'd want to do that now. Maybe I should move this path. No, no, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait until the dam is complete because we might not get it done. we got under two days. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, you can do this. Right, who's carrying logs over? Maru. Look at Maru there, just building the dam. This is your natural instinct, Maru. Yeah, I was thinking about building the dam up to there, like that level, and then just flooding this whole area. So it could be like a nice reservoir. But then I realized the water will just escape down this end, unless we did like a massive wall. I don't know if I've got the patience to build a wall that long. I think for now, this amount of water should be plenty. I'm just, I'm not convinced we're going to build the dam in time. Uh, one other thing I want to check as well. Let's rip up a path just to make some room. I want to see if we put a water pump along this edge. Oh, yes, it does. Can you see the, the log thing extends? It reaches all the way down. Okay, so if we shove that there, because even if our dam doesn't get fully completed, if, even if it's just that bit, we're going to have this like stretch of water, which is going to be really long. So yeah, build the dam first, then build that pump. I don't think we're going to have enough time to do this before the dry season hits. Uh, but we've got, we got over 500 water. We've got 600 food. You just need to remember, as soon as dry season hits, turn these water pumps off. I'm going to turn them off now. Oh, look, we've got, we got a load of new grown uppers. So Bob the Builder has grown up. Where are you, Bob the Builder? He's sleeping in the barracks. Now, he currently works at the hauling pit. I think that's no good. You need a promotion. We need to make you a builder. I feel like if we have this, the builder's hut, because we're trying to build a lot of things at the moment. It costs 20 logs and 10 planks, but then we can have another builder, and this actually extends the range as well. So we'll unlock that, yep, and we'll plonk it. Oh, wow, the range is huge on this thing. Oh, sweet. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. I think we'll put that there, bang in the middle. High priority on that. And then that'll give us a load of new beavers to play with. <laughs> that sounds rude. All right, and now we are in the dry season. It's going to last four days. I'm actually going to pause our breeding pods because we don't want any new mouths to feed. Uh, I'd rather I'd rather my births happen when we're prepared and we can actually look after them. But yeah, so in the dry season, the water dries up. You can see up here is all completely barren. It's all dried up. Down here, though, we've still got water because we built our dam. And because we're not pumping water, the level's not going down very slowly, meaning this whole area stays green. So our trees carry on growing, our farms carry on producing, our berries keep going. It's, it's all good. It's all really, really good. Uh, what's going on down here? Why are you sat on your ass? Okay, so some berries just grew and Rin is picking them. Rin is age 51. Blame you, Rin. But uh, they're literally waiting for berries to grow. And unfortunately, clicking on our forester, you can see you can see this is our range, the blue line. This this area, although I've highlighted it to be planted in berries, uh, there's no forester in range. So that was a bit of an oversight. We might have to try and fix that somehow. Uh, meanwhile, water situation seems to be losing about 100 a day. So maybe it'd be worth prioritizing this deep water pump just because all the water down here we don't need it to be green we can literally just use this for drinking water yeah, and they're, they're still building the dam as well we're, we're getting close we're getting close plenty of logs we just need the builders and our builders hut isn't very close at all really so i think we'll fast forward and uh just see how we get on all right so another day look how much activity there is we have so many beavers 72 beavers and only two of them are homeless i feel like i've achieved and we've also got a new generation of beaver so who's this little kid down here? So this is Keld Muller 2.0. And this is the one, Bayleaf Walker 2.0. So our new generation. Uh, it, should, it should be obvious who's generation one, who's generation two. Uh, right, question then. Why aren't you doing anything? Jack, Jackie, Tacky. You're a lumberjack. Oh crap, there's a pump. There's a pump. Turn it off. Oh, bollocks. I did not see that. I didn't see that at all. Oh, so we were losing water. That could that could be a massive mistake. I don't know how much the levels dropped. It does actually look quite shallow. Balls. You might have cocked that. But yeah, DeLucas, age si oh, you are age 60. I guess you can have time off. But you're meant to be in working time. He's not chopping down trees. Oh, and I think, is it because our storage is full? Yeah, so our industrial log pile is completely full. Okay, so we might need to store some more logs somewhere. And I'll tell you what, I might store them down there. So if we go into storage down here, industrial log pile we can just about store them down there you can see you can see the line it's like sort of red by the time it gets over there uh, not ideal but we're going to be closer to where we're building which is sort of down in this direction i think or maybe we could just stack them 
in the middle. Does that reach over there? It's very red, but it does reach. Yeah, sod it. We'll put them there then. So log pile, we'll prioritize that as well. I feel like everything's prioritized at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we can't really build anything until we get planks. Oh wait, we got we got 46 planks. Okay, so it seems gears are what we're sort of lacking. You can see we've only got three gears there. Because it's a dry season, it means the river isn't flowing, which means our water wheels aren't spinning, which means we can't power these buildings, which means we can't afford to complete our engine, although it does only need two more gears, which means we can't make more planks and gears up here without the need for the water wheels. What if I prioritize that? Will that get it done? I, did, I thought the engines were prioritized, if I'm honest. Yes, yes, look, we got enough gears. Yes, look, look, we've got our first engine. Who's just sat there? Van Dyke, is that all you do? That's how you work, Van Dyke, is it? So are you working hard? Because it looks like you're hardly working. Oi. <laughs> Sorry. But look, you can see all of these are powered now. So Hexwind is in the lumber mill. And so is Jalcon, making more planks. We got Peronity and RCE secretly an architect. 2.0, that is. I just couldn't fit it in. Uh, they're turning planks into gears. Well, I'm surprised one engine could do all that. Yeah, power up for 200, but the demand is 340. So do they just work slower, maybe? Yeah, I think they just work slower if they don't have enough power. Okay, interesting. But yeah, let's prioritize the builder's hut next, because that means our eight unemployed people can then have builder jobs, uh, which is quite important at the moment, because obviously a lot of these jobs are seasonal, like... <laughs> All the things that are powered down here, all the water pumping, etc. So in the dry season, there are just going to be loads of unemployed beavers just bumming about. Uh, but there's only one day left of the dry season, just 24 hours. And oh look, a load of our new generation has grown up. A load of 2.0s. Let's hope you'll survive long enough to see our suspension bridge. I'm so excited for that suspension bridge. We need three and a half thousand science though. We've barely even got a thousand. Now I'm hoping once we've got some builders we can start prioritizing the science because they only take logs to be fair. Oh meanwhile down here our dam is nearly complete. Damn! <laughs> Look the drought has ended which means the water is coming down rejuvenating the land. There you go water is now flowing into this area uh, which should mean we can turn our deep water pumps back on. Frost Stinks 2.0 is in that one. Bayleaf Walker, Butterpod 2.0, all the new generation. They're all log pumpers. And meanwhile, is our dam complete? Our dam is actually complete down here. Look at this. This whole new area. It's all opened up. Lovely. Damn, and all of this is green as well. That's pretty good. Although what isn't good, we're completely out of water. Everyone is thirsty. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna build some more water pumps just so we can stock up a bit quicker. I'm going to prioritize those as well. Everyone is thirsty. There you go. They're all, they're all drinking now. Oh man, everyone is thirsty. That is not good. We don't have a lot of water to go around. So I think new water storage is going to be pretty key as well. So the question is, where should we do that? I'm sort of... I don't know if I want to use up the green area, but it is really close. Let's get large water tanks. We could just put them like at the back here. And maybe one up there. That's sort of out the way. Yeah, we'll do that and then we'll path over to them. So we've got that one. That one. There you go. We got a load of water storage at the back. That should be pretty good. Look at these guys in here with their massive logs. Who is that? Bailey Urn, Clayton 2.0, and Super Bobbitch 2.0. That is great. Look how deep this water is. It's like so dark. I think the pumps down here, we can probably keep these pumping through dry seasons. So yeah, I think it's good. Oh, look. And we got Builder's Hut. Nice. I'm going to up that to four, and I'm going to reduce some of the haulers, I think. So I feel like haulers are just like extra. All right, nice. And we are producing some science now. Look at all of our scientists. <laughs> So we've got Luke Warm T, Lex Looper, Travis Hyper, William, Thomas Hook, and John Garcia. They are all scientists. Oh no, but we've had some deaths. DeLucas and Zach, they've died of old age. Oh no. Uh, which also reminds me, I should probably turn these back on, our breeding pods. Uh, they're currently turned off. Not ideal. Uh, meanwhile, sheet me. What has happened to the food situation? We're down to 100 food. How has that happened? Okay, that's really not good. Maybe we have too many mouths to feed now. I feel like we've got enough food in the ground. We just need an extra farm so we can farm it. Oh, wait, look, there's a, there's a, there is a spare farmer slot in that one. So let's pause a hauler. Oh, there you go. Pursued Crude has joined Mondera Calero. So they are farmers now. Meanwhile, Darky Knights and Kimberly is in that one. Breezy Bro and Logan are in that one. So as you can see now, with our three farms, we never actually farm like this bottom area. So maybe we could add an extra farm in. I feel like if we're not going to replant berries, then maybe that's a good spot. Yeah, we'll, we'll build one there, I think. So we, we really need to get the food 
back on track. I also might look at down here maybe, trying like the potato farms. So that will make our beavers last longer as we learned last time. So if we plant potatoes, we then need a grill. Can you see there? That gives us hunger and nutrition too. And if we click on a little beaver, like Peregrine over here, you can see if we add nutrition too. Oh, that gives us strength. 30% strength. Nice. That means they can carry more stuff. So that would be good. Cool. Oh, no. Oh, whoa. Okay, we just had, we just took a big hit. So look how many beavers just died. So we knew DeLucas and Zach died of old age, but now Felix, Michael, Omka, Lytle Brown, Yannick Becker, and Marrow. They all died of old age. So we're down to 64 beavers. That's a big hit. Do we still have six farmers? Yeah, we do. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit worried about food. So I'm going to look at adding a farmhouse down here. So maybe there. I'll prioritize that. And then I'm going to come to this plant crops. And we're going to say spuds. Plant spuds everywhere. And meanwhile, we'll try and build our grill right down next to the farm. So I think there. Nice. So that should provide some sustenance. Uh, one other thing I wanted to try, I, I did read about this in the comments. Apparently, can you see here, I built a bridge, a little platform for them to get across. When I built that, I sort of completely forgot that there were beavers. <laughs> now, and obviously, beavers can swim. So apparently, if I had replaced that with just a path underwater with, uh, with steps going down, then they would have swum across. Now, I don't know how that completely works in terms of do they need step? Like, can I get across here easily? Or would I need steps down and then up? So I'll tell you what, since we have the dam there, what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend our path across the dam. I'm going to build a platform there and one there. And then steps, we're going to do that one and that one and then that one and that one. And then if I path between those, you can see now they're building the steps. And I am very intrigued to see beavers swim in this game. I know it sounds bizarre. It sounds bizarre. But these beavers have very much been dry beavers. Oh god, the food situation is really bad. What? I need, to, I need to try and work out what's going on with the food. So we don't have more mouths to feed. We've got less, if anything. Okay, okay. We got we got our farm, our new farm down here, but we got no we got no beavers in there. So EGB, you're currently a lumberjack down in this area. I don't think we need wood that much. So I might pause you. And then have you become a farmer? No. Where has EGB gone? Where's he gone? We'll pause some of the scientists. Just because look, we're completely out of food. This is really not good. Let's pause a load of science. And then farmhouses, we're going to prioritize these by haulers. Just so that our farmers are always farming. So meanwhile, down here, this is our new planting area. So we've got we've got our potatoes growing. Thomas Hook is currently planting some of them. So this is our grill. This will cook our potatoes. Uh, who Who's that? Travis Hyper. You're, there's going to be a while until there's any potatoes for you to cook. So I think we're going to pause you, mate. And you can go do a useful job for a change. Uh, meanwhile, the berry situation is pretty bad. Oh, we could squeeze a forester in there, actually. So if we come into trees and bushes, we can say unselect those four. And then if we come to wood, forester, we can get a forester in there. And that will be the one that will plant new berries. Because at the moment, we're just waiting for them to naturally come back. And you can see Rin literally has nothing to do. It's like one berry patch in the whole of that. So yeah, prioritize this. Oh, look at the cavalry. We're going to up the work now as I want this done. We're night shifting it till it's completed, boys. We need some planks. Are there any planks coming? Yes, there's the planks. There you go. It's being built. So now it's built. Travis Hyper's now in there. And we can say prioritize blueberries. So hopefully now when he's back to work in the morning, we'll see him start planting up this area. Let's fast forward and see what that looks like. All right, Travis, where are you? All right, he's over there and he's cultivating the ground. And he's planted a berry bush. Nice. And I think he's just going around all the sort of spare areas, filling in the gaps, planting his seed. Nice. R meanwhile, the farmers here, the potatoes are only like not even 20% done. So we'll pause you for now because we're just going to wait for them to grow. Uh, we've now got two unemployed beavers. So we're going to up the hauling post. We'll turn that back on. I think we need to prioritize these engines. Because can you see down here logs? This is their fuel. So if they've got no fuel, they're not going to be creating any power. So if we prioritize this by haulers, that should mean these are constantly running, which in turn means we get loads of planks and gears. These are cool though. I really like the uh, the engines. They look very, very cool. And downstream of our dam is absolutely wicked as well. There's water flowing all over the place. Oh, look, look, our paths are built. Our ladders, right? Let's build something over here just so we can see. We can see a beaver swim. That's what we've been waiting for. Uh, what can we plant over here? Maybe we do, maybe we just do more food over here. So what if we build another, another farmhouse? We can plop that in there, do a path to it. Let's prioritize this and then see if any beavers swim over. Right, I can see them coming with logs. Oh, I'm excited. Are they going to swim? He's swimming. 
Oh god, he sunk. He's swimming underwater. I don't know if that counts as swimming. <laughs> but yeah, they can literally swim. They're beavers. I knew they're beavers. Nice. So maybe over here we'll make this the like wheat area. We've got carrots. We've got potatoes. And we're going to have wheat. But yeah, the food situation's really bad now. We're on zero food again. We've got hungry beavers. I'm guessing we're just not producing it fast enough. Oh, look, we've got we've got a few grown uppers. Zach 2.0, DeLucas 2.0. They've grown up. I tell you what, then. Maybe we just make this a carrot farm. Like, forget the wheat. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's best. I think we need food urgently. Yeah, carrots take four days to grow. Potatoes take six days to grow. And wheat takes 10 days, so that's more of a long-term solution. Yeah, I think I think we've got to go carrot then. All right, let's make the mightiest carrot farm. All right, so they're all going to be carrots. And we're going to build another farmhouse or two. And we'll also mark these trees to be cut down and shove a lumberjack flag. Just like a temporary one. Just so we got more space to plant, I think. Uh, this building isn't connected to any district center by path. Here it is, that path there. What do you want about? Do underwater paths not count? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beaver with his log. Who is that? Zack attack MD. <laughs> nice. Oh, so maybe underwater paths don't work as I thought they would. Oh, well, that's annoying. That's completely ruined my plan. I thought my beavers could just swim, but it seems they can't. Okay, well, can I build... If I delete these paths, can I build up and over? So platform there, stairs there and there. I can't believe my beavers aren't even going to swim anymore. What a waste. What a waste. And a path over to here. And a platform there. Steps down. Delete that. Yeah. And then path over to there. Oh man, we've had loads. We had another culling. Another culling of old people. So Kimberly, Jalcon, Rin, Breezy Bro, and EGB. They've all died of old age. <laughs> oh, this is not good. This is not good. Uh, meanwhile, the food situation is absolutely dire. We need to really prioritize these farms. Oh no, it's three days to the... Oh no. <laughs> it's three days to the dry season. Although hopefully the dry season shouldn't make a difference. We got so much water saved up. We got these pumps down here, which we should be able to leave running without any impact, except for maybe on our potatoes. But yeah, carrots, we are screwed. We are screwed on carrots. And what the shit? This building isn't connected by paths. It really is. Like, it really is. I think my game's glitched out. No, <laughs> that's not fair. Oh, well, anyway, guys, we're going to leave that there for today. Find out what happens next time. I feel like there's a beaver famine incoming, which is not good. But yeah, peace, love, and hungry beavers. And I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.